Abshani. Welcome to We Talking Cars, our brand new YouTube channel. We will be having a conversation about cars, giving opinions and thoughts. So uh, the star of the show is this beautiful, bold and black Alfa Romeo Giulietta QV. Uh, so just to get a bit into detail about it, uh, it comes in three engine derivatives. Uh, so it's namely the 1.4 progression which is good for about 88 kilowatts and 206 newton meters of torque then comes the 1.4 multi-air or the super with about 125 kilowatts and then 230 newton meters of torque so that's on like uh, when it's in its normal mode so as soon as you put it into dynamic mode which would be short for sports and then uh, the newton meters go up by 20 to about 250 so um, when it comes to the qv uh, the 1750 qv it is uh, it comes equipped with uh, this beautiful uh, engine i don't know if it's derived from the 4c uh, which would be the alpha Romeo supercar it's good for about 177 kilowatts of power as well as 340 newton meters of torque so when it comes to uh, specs and numbers 0 to 100 is done in about 0 to 6 seconds filming from south africa and the car was was um, basically introduced to the market back in 2010 say so it has aged beautifully it has come a long way since then as there have been a few uh, minor updates when it comes to the exterior interior as well as uh, the overall car itself there have been a few uh, facelifts since then uh, so looking into detail on the front of the car so it features or houses this beautiful uh, bison and headlights with an LED strip across it uh, hopefully it shows on the camera so these would be your daytime running lights and then uh, it, it, it houses or it features beautiful lines on the car so the bonnet itself uh, it comes with this beautiful crease which then forms a V in front of the car so it can you can see how it echoes into the Alfa Romeo grill which is uh, I think it's a bit sporty in its nature and then coming closer to uh, the side mounted and the flamboyant license plate hold holder uh, next to it are these beautiful uh, fog lights and surrounds as well as the PDC. So PDC would be your park distance control. So basically it alerts you as soon as you uh, drive closer to an object. It will beep at you like a mad person. It will tell you that wait, wait, wait. You are gonna, you know, get into a bit of trouble over there. This is uh, what the side profile looks like. So I uh, hope you can see how pronounced are those sides get. As well as the chrome strip around the windows. And obviously uh, the party trick which would be the sunroof uh, i mean yeah it really stands out really makes the car look uh, special and quite nice so featured uh, are these 18 inch rims uh, with uh, an alpha romeo racing uh, logo which would be uh, the clover leaf and if you know by seeing this uh, logo you should know that you are driving something quite special uh, looking from the rear of this car are these beautiful uh, Alfa Romeo tail light. I'm gonna try and switch it on so you can see into detail. Uh, not too sure if you can pick it up from the camera, so it looks really cool, uh, especially when you're driving behind it at night. Like it's, it's quite special. And then, yeah, uh, featured are these uh, huge S, huge S tail pieces or pipes. So these are aftermarket, and is not an option from Alfa themselves. So uh, this was done aftermarket, and uh, coupled with this. A ribbed diffuser done in gloss black it really pops and brings out uh, the aggressive style of the car so you can see that it also houses these uh, PDC uh, sensors from the rear and they are same thing as the front practicality uh, there's a cooler box it all fit uh, yeah it is it isn't the biggest uh, it does also house this uh, 12 volt power socket uh, your check is uh, enclosed here located there there's your light so if you open it at night you can probably see and then you can open it from here what do you find your Bose subwoofer and then uh, basically open it and then you should be able to see your uh, your spare wheel uh, when it comes to practicality it is not the biggest car in the segment uh, but you don't really buy this car for that do you this is a fun Grand Tora hot hatch uh, I think it's a bit of both in my world it's a hot hatch but it's more it's a lot more comfortable compared to other hot hatches and possibly not as uh, I wouldn't say refined but possibly not as cutthroat as the other ones maybe not I'm trying I'm struggling to find the right way to define that but not as hardcore yes not as hardcore as the other ones 
so uh, practicality wise this is this is it this is what you get this is what you're presented with uh, looks really nice also has this uh, sunroof from the rear so you can open it as well and yeah you probably will enjoy it from the rear you can get in your baby seat uh, your baby car seat and yeah this is it what what, what else do we have uh, these okay this little storage area there you can open it up open this uh, cup holders or drink holders open close this is it and then moving on to you do get a bit of uh, i don't know what's called a con control that comes through to the rear also from the back uh, the bose sound system is still featured and it, it'll keep you well entertained really nice uh, so once you your bum is seated nicely into the heated seat uh, you can see you can exactly feel that this is a sporty car it's something special because the seats give you a sensation of hmm, they, they basically hug you tight like you can feel one and cocooned inside inside the car so uh, anyway um, right in front of me is this beautiful red button steering wheel with uh, mounted pedal shifters so that's where you downshift and this is where you would upshift and then right in the middle of the speedometer uh, is the beautiful uh, clover leaf badge then moving across you can see uh, the beautiful 6.5 inch you connect sound system or oh, infotainment uh, system because it houses a few other things besides the sound i guess uh, built-in navigation comes as standard on the car uh, down here would be your dual uh, what is it called your air conditioner but you know it works independently of each other what is it called dual aircon something like that i forgot and then uh yeah this beautiful style you can okay beautiful because of the green and white stitching uh you can see that it really looks nice so this would be your tct uh a, a gear shift lever this is where you would then change or, or, or adjust to put into, into sports mode uh all weather and then this is where your part business control is, is, is turned off or on uh, micro usd aux and uh, usb so yeah quick overview uh, comes well equipped with uh, things such as automatic lights and wipers uh, cruise control traction control yeah it's it's it, yeah it's it's well equipped you know um, i don't know what to call it you know uh, this auto adjustable uh, mirror and then one of my favorite uh, features what stands out for me uh, is this little party trick over here which would be your panoramic sunroof and this is where you operate it and then uh, let me look in closer into detail this is where you switch on your lights you know uh, quick and easy and adjust just there and yeah there isn't much to see from this side the drive uh, i'm gonna just give it the beans it's warm already uh, just gonna close the sunroof because it's making a bit of noise uh, but you already feel the sporty nature that is uh, the, a, a huge characteristic, characteristic of the car so I'm just gonna give it the beans and see how it really drives oh it's quite powerful eh uh, so those 350 newton meters of torque you, you, you can feel those horses and how uh, you are pulled back into your seat as you accelerate so when it comes to its uh, dynamism as you enter a corner it sort of like leans just a little bit and then settles into it uh, hopefully i am audible enough on the video and yeah this is a really nice car to be driving it makes you feel uh, one with it it behaves accordingly you, you basically know what you're doing especially in sports mode i mean it really loves its curves so uh, we're just gonna give it the beans on this curve over here and you can just see how it moves and the sound that it makes due to uh, its, its aftermarket uh, sports exhaust it sounds really nice it sounds amazing i will also uh, probably upload a sound clip so that you can really hear what it what it feels like and then, yeah this would be exploiting its uh, sporty talent driving it sedately though it is quite smooth but you can feel that it's a bit firm compared to your everyday car but not firm enough uh, it's comfortable for you to use every day because even though it comes with 18 inches uh, rims it still does the job really well it can absorb and soak up bumps really nicely 
uh, the shifts uh, are not as aggressive and basically on an everyday basis you can really get along with this guy it can be your best friend uh, this is somebody you cry to when you're feeling a bit sad